hope that it's not like tilted the way I think it's tilted, but we just gonna work through this, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a Telfar bag review. So it was requested on my Instagram as my like other videos. I soon get into the videos you know I wanna put out, but you know I wanna give y'all what y'all want. So, 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 here y'all go. <laughs> So I initially wasn't going to do it because I was like, dang, like everybody got a Telfar bag. So I don't know if I should like do a review on it because everyone got one. You could just ask your friend. But, 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 but I thought back to when I was deciding whether to buy a Telfar bag. And one like major question in my mind was, was it worth my money? Now, I say this. There's a disclaimer, there's like a party out back, like maybe like one of my neighbors, but it's mad loud. So like if y'all hear it, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, my question, <laughs> my major question was like, was the bag worth the money? Because I wanted to know whether this little $100, $150, $160 bag, little small bag, was gonna like peel or something because I knew the leather was vegan leather and yeah so that was basically it so I'm gonna get into all the specs because I got two Telfar bags so I'm gonna show you guys in a second I'll show you in a second I'm gonna show you my first Telfar bag I'm gonna tell y'all how I got it I'm gonna tell you guys how often and frequent I wear it um how do I clean it because I have definitely dropped like makeup and like gotten it a little dirty um but I definitely cleaned it definitely wiped it off with something and then hmm I'm trying to think of what else oh and how I got the other one and yeah and how it came um packaged and stuff so stay tuned because I'm gonna get right into the video <laughs> let's start with this bag so this bag right here well all of the bags obviously as you can see by both of them they come in their size dust bags um i really like the dust bag i keep my bags in the dust bag when i'm not using them because i just don't want my bag getting dirty and collecting dust so yeah the bag will do it so it's a nice cloth bag oh, buddy. So now your bag will come flat, okay? The reason why my bag is poking out like this is because I filled it up with like tissue. This is not sneaker tissue, it's just like gift paper filler tissue. Um, you can use sneaker paper too. But I just like my bag to remain structured. But this is my very first Telfar bag. Um, today is, I guess you could say July 31st. So that being said, I got this one in October of 2020 and now this bag was definitely my everyday bag for like six seven months so this bag it held up like this baby girl girl I didn't think it was gonna hold up so good this right here made me feel like I needed another Telfar because the price Sorry. And, and the quality, like, I promise you, like, you're not gonna regret it. And it's a very, very, very trendy bag. Like, this is my every, like, this would be my go-to bag if I was to, like, go out. You know what I mean? Just because sometimes you don't want to wear an expensive Louis Vuitton bag. You don't know where you're going. You don't know. You know what I mean? So this, if you want to be on point, fashionable, affordable, get you a Telfar. <laughs> I'm over here selling it so far. <laughs> I should be selling my stuff. <laughs> no, but definitely, I definitely like this so far. Um, I all right. So this one, I definitely dropped like makeup and stuff on it. Um, to clean it up. I don't know if this is like the proper way, but it's vegan leather. It definitely held up very, very, very well. I just used a little bit of hand sanitizer on like a cloth and just like wiped it off. It literally comes off. I guess you could use like. A Lysol wipe, but I feel like a Lysol wipe might be a little bit too harsh, but definitely. And even the inside of the bag, like for me using it often, y'all, it doesn't really look used that bad. Like it, girl, 
You see a little dust at the bottom, but there, there ain't nothing. This bag held up. It's about to be a year old. And for an everyday year old bag, this looks beautiful. So yeah, that was that bag. Um, I actually got that bag like when it dropped. I wanted the white one initially, but they didn't. Well, I mean, I got it in my car and I was checking out. And the next day they didn't have it. So I went back and I just got the black one instead. And I'm kind of happy I got the black one because my friend said she got the white one and she says it gets really dirty. So I'm glad I got the black one. Just keep that in mind. Whatever color you get, it might get dirty. Okay, so now the second bag I got from Telfar, I got it in the bag security program. And I think it was the second bag security program that they held in March of 2021. So I actually got mine pretty early. If y'all don't know what the bag security program is, is Telfar, the brand does this thing where you could, they make to order your bag. So they'll make any bag that they ever made for you, but you gotta wait. That's the only catch, you just gotta wait. And I think I waited from the end of March when I placed that order to maybe the end of June. However, that's early because the estimated arrival date was supposed to be July 15th to September 15th. So yeah, it's a pretty steep wait. However, they're pretty fast. I, would, I don't want to like put it on them, but their production was pretty fast for my order. So I'm about to show you like how it came packaged. Like thankfully I kept the box. I usually throw away my boxes, but I kept the box. This is the box that it came in. So it just fit nicely in this box, just like this. And when you open it, it's gonna come in the box and in a bag. So this isn't the bag for it, but it just looks like this with the Telfar logo. So I just wanted to show you guys for a demonstration. But yeah, so the packaging was nice and simple. There's actually no like, I guess you could say invoice. There's no invoice that it came with, but I don't mind because I got my invoice online, so. Yeah, so here is the second one. If I didn't mention before, Telfar comes, like their bags come in like three different sizes. You could get the small, medium, or large. So the first one I showed you guys was the small. The second one is a medium. All right, so I got this with the intentions that it was gonna fit my laptop. So I have, I think the 15 inch laptop or six, 15 or 16 inch laptop. That thing ain't fit in here. So it fits, but like, it's a struggle to get it to fit. So here, opening up the bag. So one thing that this bag came with that that bag didn't come with was like paper. So let me take this out paper as well as like this dry moisture package so I'm gonna take it out so this right here is my baby like do y'all see this all right I didn't even get to show y'all I still got paper over it <laughs> So yeah, it came with this protective paper layer and I really like it because it's like, this artwork needs to be protected. One thing about this bag that drew me to this bag was when I first heard of Telfar, I wasn't like really attracted to their bags at first. But when I saw this one and the blue one of this one, I was like, whoa, they are onto something because I wasn't seeing mad people rock them. Like I just sold them online and I see a lot of people cop them. So when the bag security came around, I knew this one was the one I had to get. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, this bag is a medium bag. The other bag is a small bag. I can carry a lot of things in the small bag. I can carry my phone. I can carry my chapstick. I have like two wallets, like mini wallets. I carry those. Hand sanitizer, I can put wipes in there lip glosses like it carries all of that but this bag just makes me carry mad unnecessary stuff like 
I love it to death, but it could get really heavy really quick. So definitely be mindful of how much stuff you carry. Um, it's actually really durable though, cause like I carry this bag to the park and still holds structure and still does its thing. But you see how it's folded? That's how the bag initially came. I'm not gonna stuff this bag cause it's gonna require way, way, way too many, too much freaking, what is it? That gift wrap tissue paper. It's gonna require too much of it. So yeah, this is my Telfar bag. This is, I guess, the review. Um, just like I said, I highly recommend. This is a really trendy bag. I like the fact that it's like a long strap. You could have it on your crossbody. Or you could keep it on your side. I actually like like it like this because it has like a lot more support around my shoulder. Um, but I kind of look like a grandma when I do it, so I'm gonna kind of stop. I like it on the side too. But um, I think and I think I'll show y'all a picture like in here of how it looks on the side, so you guys can see how long it is. I'm like five seven and a half, five eight. So you guys will definitely see how long it is. Um, but definitely the most trendy way to wear it is definitely with the top handle. But my arm gets tired, like I said, because I tend to fill up this bag more than I need to, just because it's big and I like to do it. <laughs> so, I wanted to come back and show you guys something that I forgot to mention. So here's like the small detail that like I forgot to mention previously. The older bag has like these rope-like strings, right? And the newer bag, on top of having like the little dry packet, it also has like these newer straps. They definitely are probably cloth, but it's like coated and it's a lot more stronger and it looks a lot more like elevated. That's what I could say. So now, this bag, one thing I forgot to mention about this bag right here, let me see if I can get it open, is that inside of the bag, there is a zipper so this zipper right here it is like so clutch it's beyond clutch because the bag is big the bag is huge let me give you guys an inside look like i said the bag's huge i wanted to give you guys an inside look of it real quick because i didn't really open it up in the video and you can see a little bit of the front but it's a really really big bag like it's a really big bag and big bags i feel like it's clutch to have a zipper because you gotta keep the things that you need to grab fast and definitely i keep my keys and i keep my wallets in here in this big bag and well this big pocket and the pocket is like on the front of the bag so i would say they could have placed it on the back because if you do have something like really bulky it might like pop out right here but still 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 a very good bag and i highly recommend because yeah like the telfar bag i guess like for the quality it's worth it it's definitely worth the quality especially because on the fourth which is tomorrow um they about to drop the black again and this is gonna come out after the black one was dropped but I just might cop a large black one just because of how like nice these bags are and if I do cop that one let me know in the description if you guys want me to do an official unboxing because I will wait and I will come and show you guys me sitting down on the ground and a video of me unboxing the box and the bag so let me know because it'll be a little bit different since that one that i would get is going to be a large bag and this one's a medium and this one is the small so definitely let me guys let me know in the comment guys okay okay so this was my self bar bag review make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you haven't already but definitely, definitely let me know what you guys think about the Telfar bags. And if they do another bag security program, what bag would you guys cop? If you guys don't know, just go on the Instagram. You can see all the bags that they got. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for the next video next week. See you guys. Bye.